Hey guys, this is Linda and I'm back with another Project Life process video. This is the week of July 11th through 17th, 2022. So what I have here are my photos. I don't actually have a ton of photos this week. Um, I have my notes. I have a piece of ephemera, a card from um, my boss who is retiring. So I have that to include. And then I have, I'm working with this Studio Calico kit for July. So if you've been following along this year, I have been using these kits for the first full week of the month, but for this month, I decided to do something a little different for the first week. So this is going to be for my second week of July. So these kits come with, um, the Studio Calico kits always come with a monthly embellishment that they repeat throughout the year that has the name of the month on it. So this year, what they're doing are these wood veneer words so that is something I'm going to always include right here on my top left date card. And this stamp I think isn't really gonna work for the spread, so I'm just gonna put that to the side. Um, let's see, there's these clear uh, leaves. These numbers are super cute, but I'm not sure what I need numbers for. There's some label stickers, those might be cute. Some frames, um, and these are a cute um, alpha and then my cards here. So what I'm gonna do first is crop out my photos and see how many cards I need before I start going through those cards. So I'm gonna go ahead and put you on fast forward and start putting my spread together. Okay, so this one comes together pretty quickly as I feel like most of my Project Life spreads do these days. Um, I think it's just one of those things where I've gotten into such a routine with it that it's just very easy for me to get a spread together. And I think part of that is because I'm always using this design a page protector configuration, I know kind of what I'm going for with the layout with my photos and my cards. So as usual, I start by cropping out my photos that I've printed at home. Um, you did see earlier there was one place where I put two three by four photos or a slightly smaller than three by four on a four by six canvas. And I did that in Photoshop Elements just so that I could fit them in one of the four by six pockets because you see here, I do not have that many photos this week. And the photos that I do have, I have more three by four ones or vertical sized photos. Um, so I am going through the kit and pulling out some of the four by six cards to use. I backed um, the piece of ephemera with one right there. And then I added a couple others and I'm just trying to balance out the spread a little bit. Um, the Studio Calico kits really don't come with that many 4x6 cards. They come with a ton of 3x4 cards. I think they're really designed for someone who puts photos in all of the 4x6 pockets and cards in most of the 3x4 pockets. And that tends to be how I usually do it. But for whatever reason, I haven't been taking that many photos. So I didn't have a ton of 4x6 photos. And some of the filler cards did actually work really well. So I'm going through the cards and sorting them. Um, I have... A few piles there. One are our cards to the right. Those are cards I'm not going to use on this spread. Then next is a pile of journaling cards that I might use, filler cards I might use, and pattern cards I might use. And so you can see as I'm going through, I'm pulling from those smaller piles to figure out what fits my spread. I went with more of the pinks and peaches and orange colors, and I really love how these colors came together. Um, I'm really happy with how this spread came out. One thing I did notice with the cards this month is that there wasn't really anything I wanted to cut out to use to embellish my photos, which if you've watched my videos in the past, that's something I tend to do pretty frequently. So I was kind of surprised by that, but it worked out. There are also these um, kind of like label stickers. They're grid. There's a small grid on them and they're different colors. So I decided to use the smallest one here for the dates and adhere the July down. Um, to make my title card. I do end up using a lot more of those uh, label stickers throughout the spread, but that wasn't my initial intent. Originally, I wasn't entirely sure how I was going to embellish the spread because I don't, um, a lot of the embellishments that come with the kit didn't really fit. So I was thinking I was going to start with this card here and put a label. I wanted to put the title Pef Picnic because these photos were from the Pef Picnic, which is my union that I belong to at work. And so I wanted to use this alpha sticker to write Pef Picnic, but I wanted something to kind of ground the letters. So I pulled one of the labels and put that across my photo as a place for these stickers um, 
My original intent was not to add additional titles on the spread, but again, if you've watched my videos in the past, I really like to repeat elements or styles across the spread. I think it gives a more cohesive look. So that is what I'm going to end up doing after this card. So I pulled out the chipboard pieces and a lot of them were frames, which I think require a little more planning because you need something to go in the frame, but there are some smaller sentiments and I decided that those would work well on my spread here. This journaling card has prompts for three weekend activities. So I did use this to write out three of the different things that I did on the weekend. Um, my daughter and I got our hair done, which are a couple of the photos. And I don't really remember the other things I wrote. There wasn't a very eventful weekend. It was pretty quiet. Oh, I think I wrote about making more marshmallow um, syrup for my coffees and picking up some coffee beans. And probably my daughter going over to a sleepover where she rode her bike over to our friend's house. Um, then I decided to embellish and I decided that I wanted to follow the same format with the label sticker and the alphas. So here I'm going to write new hair and add another one of the chipboard stickers just to kind of mirror that same formatting that I did for the Pef Picnic one. For adding these label stickers or the alpha stickers, sorry, I start from the right hand side because I wanted it to be lined up with the edge of the label. And it wasn't really, I didn't really care too much if it went off the left hand side. I just didn't want it to go off the right hand side, if that makes sense. Um, and then I'm adding one of the chipboard phrases. I typically don't embellish that top right um, photo for whatever reason on the left hand side of the page. I tend to put a photo in that top right pocket that is um, my favorite photo from the week and I tend to leave it unembellished. But for whatever reason this week, I wanted it embellished. I looked at those leaves that came in the kit and they are extremely cute, but they don't really fit anything that happened this week. So I decided not to use them and I moved on to journaling on this card. I had a lot of big work changes this week, a lot of things going on. So I decided to use this card to journal about all of the things going on at work right now. And um, you know, one of my, my original boss when I first started, I uh, retired this week. I started supervising two people. There were just a lot of different um, shifts and changes at work that I wanted to make note of during this um, week. Also, um, our union pick out, picnic, which I did have that the photos for, but I was able to journal a bit about it there as well. And now I'm just kind of thinking, what else do I want to add on this spread? And what else can I write with these alpha stickers? When you have alpha stickers, you kind of after you do a few different things, you kind of run out of what um, what you're able to write because you use up a lot of the letters. And so what I decided to do here was write Weekend Vibes. I think, I think that's what I ended up writing. We'll see. But I was all out of eyes. So I took one of the L's and I cut it in half and kind of layered it over itself to make it shorter and then took one of the dots off of the J and put that on there. And now I'm going to do my second word across the top, which we will see what that is in a moment. I should usually hold these spread, keep these spreads out while I do my voiceover, but for whatever reason, I put this one away. Oh, so I'm going to write morning vibes. Um, it was a weekend morning. And so what I started to do was write morning um, and I realized I didn't have a ton of space. So I considered just writing morn vibes. Um, and it just bothered me so much that I ended up doing mourning, even though I had to use up another L as an I, and it goes onto my cat's face a little bit. I don't know. The word mourn just wasn't really doing it for me. So I wanted it to say mourning vibes. Um, but I do like that I have this repetition across the spread of the different um, you know, titles using these alphas. And I am going to end up doing one more of them up on that photo of my cat. Um so he, for whatever reason, tried to go underneath um, my nightstand and he doesn't really fit, but he was kind of like, okay, what do I do now? And so I sat there for a while trying to figure out what I could write and I ended up writing my boy. I couldn't do, um, I think I wanted to do weirdo or pumpkin or like, I just didn't have any letters to do the things I wanted to do, but I was able to get my boy to fit on there and another chipboard. So now I'm going to take this last journaling card 
and do a bulleted list using my dot marker to add a few of the other events that happened this week, just to make note of different stories that aren't represented in the photos or my other journaling cards. And that is just something I've gotten in the habit of including every week, pretty much. And I really just enjoy the way that that comes out. Um, As you see, the spread came together pretty quickly. I think it took me about 40 minutes while I was actually putting it together. And I think working from a kit really helps to keep it quick. And just using the same formatting over and over, you know, the, the horizontal photos, the three by four cards and the journaling, and then having some sort of embellishment cluster that's repeated. And on this spread, I don't use anything other than my pen and dot marker that are not part of the Studio Calico kit. So that definitely helped as well because I didn't go into my stash for anything. I did use my rolling date stamp, but just like some basics, like the adhesive and stuff, which you're going to use on every spread, but just pulling directly from the kit, even though some of the embellishments from the kit didn't really fit, there was enough in the kit that I was able to fill my entire spread. So thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Thank you.